afternoon, Brendan and Mark. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, thanks. I'm Brendan, my good. first... Good. Brendan, my first question's for you. You kind of got pinned as the villain and the, the major game player this season. I'm curious how that made you feel, and if maybe you could, you know, tell us what the real... Maybe moments when we got to see the real Brendan. I mean... I'm not going to lie, I definitely played the game. I mean, as soon as I get on The Biggest Loser, uh, I went there to change my life. There's no question about that. As soon as I got there, I did the things I needed to do to prolong my stay. And, you know, the things, the things that were the real me were, you know, me and Ada giving Patrick the car, me giving my letters to Lisa, and, you know, me donating money to the Warriors in Pink. Um, I also donated $1,000 to the Make-A-Wish Foundation in memory of uh, Anna Wright's son, someone who didn't make the show from Atlanta, the, the woman who got knocked out who came in in week four. Great. No, those were all really generous, and um, we were really glad to see you do some of those things. Thank you, Brendan. You're Mark, welcome. I'm curious for you, um, what are you doing at home right now to take that at-home prize? You really seem kind of poised to do that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just doing what I did from day one, just hard work, you know, just keep working, keep working, keep working hard. You know, I think I've got my, uh, my diet down pretty well, uh, at the ranch, which carried over to home. You know, when I first got home, it was a little difficult, uh, adjusting back to my life, actually workout wise, my diet was, was a hundred percent perfect. So, you know, I've just been trying to be as consistent as possible and, uh, you know, the weight's been coming off pretty consistently. Great. Well, congratulations to both of you. You've both enjoyed some tremendous success on the show, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks at the finale. Thank you. Thank you.